Hello, I'm Tom Whitaker, and today I want to do a short video just on how to use the BF Bot Manager with Betterminic Big Data Betting Strategies. I recommended BF Bot Manager in my books. Why do I recommend using a bot? It's a way to get the prices near kickoff. It's good if you have a larger volume of bets in 48 hours than you have the bank to place them in one go. You can use a staking plan and it removes emotion and it avoids impulse betting. What do I mean? Well, usually the picks from bet to minute come in about 48 hours before the match kicks off. And uh, some people like to bet early on that. I like to input my bets early. I don't like to sit in front of a computer all the time putting bets on. So when I get the email with all the picks, I like to go to my bot and just add them in manually and then it's ready to go. But I don't want to get the prices 48 hours before because some of the markets are not developed yet, particularly some of the smaller markets. So if I use a bet, I can set it to bet 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 3.5 minutes before kickoff so I can get the prices near a kickoff. Off. It's also good if you have a larger volume of bets in 48 hours than you have the bank to place in one go. For example, on the weekend, on a Saturday and Sunday, I might have 50 to 100 bets in one go, and I can't put all those bets on in, in the morning and just let them go. So it's better if it's spaced out for me, and uh, the betting bot will do that for me. Also, I can use a staking plan. I use the secure staking plan that was in my book, the staking plans book, and I use the settings from that in BF Bot Manager. Unfortunately, it cannot cope with Whitaker staking plan just yet. Maybe one day it will, but at the moment I use that for my for my betting bot. Also, using a bot, it removes the emotion and it avoids impulse betting. Like if you're on the Betfair website and you're putting in your bets for the day, you might see an advert for something, or you might see a game, or you might see the other, you know, Premier League games and things. I know that that's a dead cert and you put money on that yourself and um, I think a lot of people use systems like Betterminic because they've lost in their own betting so I think it's best it it's reduces the chance of you you know making your own emotional bets so by using a, a bot like BF Bot Manager you're using a different format a different system to bet fair to what your habits are so it's much easier to stick to a system when you're using a a, a different format to put your input your bets in so how do we use the BF Bot Manager with our Betamic strategies. Well, step one is to load the markets. After you've logged into BF Bot Manager and you've linked it up with your Betfair account, you can buy different versions of BF Bot Manager. Some of them work with Betfair, some of them work with BetDAC, and then you need to link it up to your account. Once you've linked it up to account, step one is to go to the events and markets. And well, you can manually update the match odds markets. You can manually update the under or over 2.5 goals markets. Um, you can do that manually the first time just to see them coming up and then you'll get a list like this. When you first switch on freshly, it'll, there will be nothing here. But after you upload the markets, then all of the markets will appear here. But what we want to do is to leave the bot going automatically so we don't have to go back to it and upload markets ourselves. The next thing we want to do is to set up auto load on the markets. So click on that and then click on this edit button here. And first we want to auto load reload markets every six hours is fine. You don't need to do four hours or two hours. Uh, Betfed loads every game about 24 hours before it goes on, sometimes much earlier than that. So we don't need to really set it more than that. Now we want to load the markets for the next two days. I think that's good. We don't need the in-play markets because that would load the markets that are in play now. We're never going to use them because we're always betting on stuff in the future. We want to load markets going in play. You can leave that on. Uh, you can leave this on. So that's fine there. But the most important thing is you want to auto reload markets every six hours you can change this to 12 hours that's fine um, if you want to use up less internet less data that's okay but i think six hours is pretty standard and i load the markets for the next two days so that matches up with better minute who load the markets for every two days they 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 generally send things about 18 hours 24 48 hours before the match kicks off so you can save that and then yeah we've saved that Yep, say it's successfully saved and exit. The next step is to set up our strategy. For here, we're setting up the staking plan, the bet time and the initial stake. So go to the bots and strategies bar. Go to example bet on my selections. We can click on this part and then here we get the settings for this strategy. And what the Everything here is set up already to be able to work with our manual selections. 
But one thing we want to do is we should change the staking. So you click on this edit button here and then change it to whatever stake you want. If you put one, you're betting one pound. If your account is euros, you're betting euros. Um, of course, uh, the minimum bet on Betfair is two pounds. So even if, if I put one, it's going to bet two. But I put this as my level stake is one. Um, I use the, I put one because later on I'm going to use a staking plan. But anyway, here is your level stake. So if you want to bet one pound, you put one here. You want to bet ten pounds on each thing, you bet you put ten. Um, I'm going to leave that at one at the moment. And uh, so here it's set at one. Then the next thing we want to edit is the bet time. Uh, this is important because um, these are the standard settings of BF Bot Manager. So let's go back to uh, market conditions, time to bet, start placing bets, and click on edit. It, anybody who's just bought BF Bot Manager and is just using it as it is, they are all going to be betting from this same time. And if everybody is suddenly betting on a market at this time, obviously the price, the good price is going to get taken and you might end up with a worse price if other people have faster internet connections and faster computers. So what we want to do, you want to change your time. It doesn't really matter what you change your time to, just as long as it is not this time, which is what the standard time that everybody else betting using this BF monitor might be betting on. Um, you can bet a little bit closer to kickoff or you can bet a little bit earlier. For me, I think a lot of bets will come in at that point. So I bet uh, after I want to bet a little bit earlier than uh, a little bit earlier than this. So it's on 300 seconds right now. So I'm going to just move that up to 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 uh, 475. So don't put an even number like 500 or 600 because probably other people will pick that you want your bot to make its bets when other people aren't bots aren't betting because then you probably get a more natural price not one that has been over bet on by people so we're going to start our betting uh before in play before 475 seconds okay um, and then click save on that um, so that's our start betting time and so we've got that we've got our staking plan um, so we need to switch this on so that's started um, and uh, it's going to place bets. You know, it says here about seven minutes and 55 seconds before the game starts. That's fine. Um, and we've got our stake set up. So our stake is set at one pound here. Um, then the next thing you want, if, if you want to uh, use a staking plan here. Now, the thing is, I use a staking plan. Uh, I use the secure staking plan. So if you want to add a staking plan, it's on the staking area here and you click on add rule and then on the add rule, you click on the staking plan you want. Now, um, if you read the Better Minute blogs and you've heard about my book, the staking plans, uh, the staking plans book, um, you'll know that I think the secure, the secure staking plan is the best. And um, on BF Bot Manager, they have something called the Odd Staking Ladder, which is their equivalent of the Secure Staking Plan. Um, and you'll get, uh, if you click on this, you will get a screen looking like this, and you need to manually input the settings for it. Um, and I've already put the step, the, the settings are already available on the Better Mini blog, and um, you can put them in here. And after you put, input them here, they will look like will look like this. So um, uh, any bets from 1.01 .01 to 1.49 odds will be bet at a multiplier of five of the stake we set previously. If you remember, the stake is currently set to one pound, so this would be five pounds. Now, I will recommend updating that stake daily um, to match that one should be whatever. 1% of your balances. So if your balance is 200 pounds, then that one should be one, that initial stake should be two, which is 1% of 200. And then your multiplier will multiply that initial stake. Just make sure you you tick this box, use multiplier instead of stake, which means it will use, if your stake is two, then it will, five will be a multiple of two, not just five pounds. If you unclick this, this is a bet of five pounds. If you click this, this is five times your initial stake. So it's important you, sta you, you set that stake for this strategy. I'm using the odd staking ladder, which is betting different amounts for different odds levels. Okay, so this is all done. This is saved. Okay, 
yes, we use a multiplier instead of stake, that's fine. So here, what you can do daily is change your level stake to match your account balance. For example, if the account balance is £111 one day, then I might change my stake to 1.11 and say, okay, that's that's 1%. So there we are. So that means when it makes any bets, it will do that as a multiplier of the of that initial stake, and that will match up to the staking plan. Of course, the minimum stake is £2 on Betfair, so even though this says 0.25, it's not going to bet 0.25 of of one pound because it can't do that it will just flat bet two pounds but once you have in your in if you're using larger amounts then it will it will use the staking plan properly then so the next step is to manually select bets for this go to your betterminic account and look at the my picks at the pending picks page and you'll get a list of the strategies you're following and the picks that are coming up so for example here's one of my private strategies i'm following um and that's uh, I'm, I need to bet on France League One Nimes. So this kickoff is eight o'clock. So I go into the BF Bot Manager, and uh, uh, I live in Japan, so the times here are changed for me to match that up. Eight o'clock is actually four o'clock in the morning in uh, Japan. So uh, that game is down here. So here we want to click on this button here, and it will open up the betting market. And we are betting on the draw. So you click here. And that this bit is the my selections part. So we're selecting to bet on the draw. And we can see here in the my selections column, now the draw has appeared here. So if uh, so that means this bot will bet on the draw about seven minutes before the game kicks off. And it will follow the staking plan that we're using if we've selected a staking plan. So then you you need to manually go through these different fixtures and and find them here open up the markets and select the markets you want to bet on and when you when you see it here in my selections that means it's ready and it's going to make that bet and then it's ready you can see in the my selections what is going to be bet on as you go up and down here you will see what selections are ready to go the next step is to update your stake and your bets daily as you get new picks sent to you from betterminic you can input them into your betting bot also uh, if you're using a uh, staking plan, then um, you need, if you're using the secure staking plan, you need to update that initial stake here, the, the level initial stake here. So as your balance changes, you want to change this so that it is 1% of your balance if you are if you are betting using secure stakes. If you're using percentage or some other staking plan, then Again, you would you would check here to make sure that's correct. One thing I want to note for first time users is that when you do use BF Bot Manager, the first time user, you should always be on simulation mode. And then if it's worked a few days with simulation mode, as you expect, then switch on to real mode with small stakes. Real mode is switched on on the home page here. Now it's on simulation mode. You can switch it to real mode and then it's going and then it's going to make those bets. And you start with real mode with small stakes just to check if it really is working. So do at least one day, one run with small stakes. And then when you're sure it's working properly, then you can switch to real stakes using you know, your real betting bank. Um, and then it should run fine. One important note that um, some people have asked me, have got wrong in the past is you need to keep your PC switched on and connected to the internet. Um, you can't switch off your computer and it will not bet automatically for you with your computer switched on. The bot is on your computer. Uh, if you don't, if you can't or you don't want to have your computer switched on all the time, then you need to get a VPS, which is a virtual private server. Um, they're offered at quite good prices these days. Um, you can get stuff that costs 10, I think 20 pounds a month. Um, uh, and then you can run your bot on there and then it doesn't matter if your computer gets cut off from the internet or you switch the computer off so um, you uh, you need to keep your PC switched on and connected to the internet if you're using your main computer to run the bot or you need a VPS um, also if you do make any changes to the settings just you try new things always try simulation mode first and then real mode with small stakes and then real mode with real stakes that same pattern again because sometimes when we make changes unexpected things can happen so always do simulation mode first so basically to use bf bot manager with better minute big data betting strategies you need to load the markets and set up the auto load on the markets then you set up your strategy 
making sure you have your staking plan, change the bet time and set your initial stake and then switch on the strategy and then you need to manually select the bets and then each day update your stake if you're using a strategy uh, and update the bets daily. Again, it does seem a bit complicated. Why use a bot? And as I said, it's a way to get the prices near kickoff and it's good if you have a lot of bets, you can do it all with one bank and it's a good way to use a staking plan and it can also remove emotion and avoid impulse betting because you're looking at the BF bot manager, which it's it's much harder to impulse bet when you're looking at that as, com as compared with the Betfair site, which is, is trying to show us some really interesting bets there so that's that's some reasons to use a bot i hope one day we will be able to export our picks and just upload them to a betting bot but that day's not here yet so but when that day does come i'll let you know or if you see it first you let me know but at the moment we have to manually imp input the bets but um there are reasons to do that good luck with using the BFIT monitor if you are betting with it on the Better Minute Big Data betting strategies.